Hey, you. Ow. The gamma <clears throat> signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is impossible. If the gamma signature from the Sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just... Sorry, still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? <sighs> we should be able to track this new gamma signature to its source then, right? I do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please. Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chum. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey. Come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. Creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. Find me when you're ready. Multi-million dollar piece of experimental technology, and she kicks it. It was just recently that the Hudson Yards Development Restoration Association purchased this entire block. I'll let you think about that one for a minute. Something tells me these midnight warehouse raids are pretty normal for you. Very. This area in particular? Occasionally. Good for a late night snack. Oh. The falafel place down the road stays open till three. Oh, right, sure. Only maybe next time say it less vampire -y.
I'd be honing my skills before the next fight. sign of venom this time. Gamma signatures and unstable isotopes aren't really in my wheelhouse, so we'll be patching Dr. Banner through from Avengers Tower once you reach the other side. off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Johan Fanoff. That dick. I heard he was dead. Well, hoped is perhaps a more accurate description. Calls himself Faustus now. Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Liliths. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. I'm gonna need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. Kill them. His fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce.
told me to mention your mother. Apparently, she's promiscuous. doing that? I've never been one to buy into the science of magic, but the data I'm seeing is hard to ignore. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. You know you're talking to a vampire, an alien hybrid, and a resurrected demon hunter, right?
Interesting. Vintage, will they focus on me? Reinforcements. Good. Is it possible he somehow stabilized the rate of decay within the particles themselves? How else could he be achieving such a high yield? I don't know, Bruce. I'll be sure to ask him when we're done punching out the bad guys. Forever. Perhaps Faustus' device is worth further study. If you wouldn't mind, Carol, I'd prefer it if you and your supernatural associates not... Smash it? Yes. Go! No, now! Quickly! Let's go, go, go! Perfect opportunity to field test Mother's device.
For the record, Bruce, I did not smash that thing. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. And the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? Everything according to plan. analysis of the blast confirms high levels of gamma and various unknown energies. Unknown to you. There is dark magic at work here. We must not let Hydra escape with it.
watch me. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variants gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst. Got it. could get any stronger. Tromping through the warehouse, hurling the puny truck at the moon. Don't worry, Bruce. I've got a pair of torn purple pants with your name on them. You're lucky to still be breathing.
less thing to worry about. Approximately 16,342 more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. had your chance to escape. get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves. job out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my tenth run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? Then you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey Tournament, tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in the fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say. All work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on. You should hang out. should rest. Another time. Let me see. How did this work again? in there you just replied to me good you answered getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here and despite what Robbie says I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven blood magic stuff cool room spacious Aw, is that bed for Charlie? Yes. So, 
If you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later, Magic. From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff, or quasi-human. <laughs> You're a midnight sun now, one of us. Nico, I was just hydra-bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I uh, keep seeing Wanda. She... Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge. Or maybe crack open the casket of Agent Winters a little? As long as Caretaker doesn't come up with some busy work in the meantime, I'm perfectly fine. I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected, chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned to deal with it. It's the only way forward, right? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. Makes me hate her even more. I did not realize you carried such pain. I just learned to bury it. You think I can afford a therapist on a superhero salary? I'm kidding. We don't get paid for this. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. So, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. Can we do it again? So, what did you think of the movie? I understood more than I should. How? You've been dead for three centuries! I'm not so sure I was dead. Not exactly. I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... Think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. 
Then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one, or who were the runaways? I had some questions about your old team. The runaways? Sure thing. Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear, Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse, Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. I handled the blood magic, though I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. Were you all heroes who banded together? No, we were normal kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. <laughs> First, our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. What did you do? We ran, but eventually we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods. So we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality as we know it. You know... Typical kid stuff. Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert... She, uh... She didn't make it. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in L.A. As for Alex, uh, he chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. I had some questions about your staff. Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The staff of one interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? Not really. I only use the staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. I had some questions about your staff. Go for it. Can you tell me how the Staff of One functions? It's, uh, blood magic, so my own blood is required to summon it. You wouldn't believe how many adhesive bandages I go through each year. What about the words you speak? They come true. Uh, kind of. And not always the way I expect. It's like making a wish, but you can never make the same wish again. I should get going. Uh, good, good timing. Um, looks like Caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. I'm glad to see you're using your free time productively. Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. 
I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. <sighs> Not quite like it was in the good old days. To stand still is to move back. You got that one from Agatha. She used to say it all the time. I always preferred if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Used to? I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know... Agatha... She's no longer with us. What? Th that is impossible. She was so... Fierce. Indomitable. Or maybe just kind to a fault. You do not have to do this. Thank you. But I do. I haven't spoken to anyone about what happened. And more so than anyone, you deserve to know. Agatha died in an accident. Caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing. Too quickly for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even Ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, if Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. Wanda's powers were so out of control they cost a life. Your decision may have saved lives, if not the entire Abbey. I like to believe that, especially given her current situation. Ah, <sighs> Wanda, Agatha, it seems we have lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. Agatha! You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> 
Is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. No, oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And what have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? ominous looking portal is known as a blood gate and you're the only one among us who can pass through it blood gate caretakers handiwork yes sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with wanda it's become something of a habit for her i have noticed that what lies beyond is meant for you as much as it ever was for her assuming you're up to the challenge that is you know i am I do, but it's always polite to ask. Ominous indeed. There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah, caretaker, was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. Trials? I should. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? <laughs> The Old Gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the Giver of Justice. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea of one.
too weak for this fight. Cannot possibly match your strength. Abandons you. I'm impressed. Compared to our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. Don't you see? They certainly won't.
be wary of this place. But it's your birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, a blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? Hunter, hello. Goddess of Order approves. After all this time, it's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old Sorcerer Supreme. Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and... Let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah... Caretaker isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. Good girl, Charlie. <coughs> Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Hunter, please come to the forge at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. Thank you. Uh, strange out. more movies to show you, like, like 70s grindhouse flicks.
Hunter, just in time. His royal weirdness and I were deciding what to do with that nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah, yes. The spooky crate? The very one. Though it is far from any mere container, I assure you. I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony. And perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage? Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. You don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. I would be highly suspicious of anything that Hydra has had in its possession. My advice would be to do what Tony says. Destroy whatever is in there immediately. With all due respect, Hunter, that would be short-sighted and foolish. For one thing, it's very, very hard to dispose of magical items. The repercussions are sometimes... unexpected. Besides, I need all the magical items I can get. And why is that? Right now, with the Sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. It, metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Approach the anvil, Hunter. We do not have time to spare. Just about to binge watch my stories. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected. It's the Eternity Dagger. This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The cube of nothingness. The tear of Provia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. The place is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. To be fair, it does look interesting, at least.
one of us isn't the miracle. What have you got for me, boss? Take a look. Got some upgrades for you, hot off the press. Or forge. finished yet. I'm here if you need me. Hey, Hunter, uh, got a sec to spare? You've been here more in the past few days than I have since... ever. The forge is pretty badass, but the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good! How could you tell? You are not the first spirit of vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another, just a few days. 
three centuries ago. Oh man, um... Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my spirit of vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with like 12 apostrophes. Also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. It would be my honor to spar with the spirit of vengeance. <laughs> wow, he's real excited. Never thought he'd get bouncy, but here we are. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blake to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kinda hard to miss. Fascinating. Hunter, ready to get your burn on? I'm talking training with Ghost Rider. Spirits of vengeance train the hardest. The time for punishment is here. Maybe you should be the same. Hunter, report to the war room. We've got a mission.
I still say we should have built a firing range first. Later. Don't sneak up on an old lady like that. You called for me, Captain? Keep telling ya, Carol works too, but yeah, I did. Now that Tony's finally starting to get a handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city. But we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let's get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. Lost? Well, I updated her on the mission. She said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There is no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. Do not worry, Captain. I will locate and alert her of the team's needs. There's that can-do, get-it-done, old-timey, prophesied savior of humanity attitude I was hoping to see today. Still, you better hurry. Not sure how long Hydra will remain in their current position. Then I shall make haste. Yes, you hasten as much as you can, Hunter. Hunter? Not much more I can tell you, Hunter. Though I did hear her mutter something about Wanda right before she poofed away. Maybe that helps. Thanks, Captain. I shall find her.
I'm game for Robbie, have you seen magic? No, but there were some pretty crazy energy flashes coming from the dorms a few minutes ago. It usually means she wants to be left alone. Trust me on that. Thanks, Robbie. This room belonged to the Scarlet Witch, did it not? Wanda. It belongs to Wanda. Let me guess. You are to ask me to do the one thing the others value me for. Opening their precious portal. Well, I am in the middle of something. Come back later. That is no ordinary book. I can sense it from here. Nothing in this place is ever ordinary. Especially this. Wanda's first grimoire. Agatha gave it to her when she was teaching her witchcraft, the dark arts. She was trying to help Wanda control her powers. She would never let me read it. So now I read it. That is no child's book, whose focus for one second be lost completely within its pages. Let me guide you through it. You do not own the darkness, Hunter. I was also raised within it. So much so, I barely remember a time without it. And now Wanda has this in common with us too. I know what she's going through. To come face to face with true evil itself. To be dragged to some hell dimension so hot that your soul is scorched black. Your heart so filled with soot that it chokes out all the bright parts of you. Until you are just a dark thing of smoke and ash. I cannot let such a fate happen to her. We will find her. I can feel it. And just who will find her? Caretaker? The Avengers? Do not try to fool me with your false empathy, Hunter. I know Caretaker will never waste the resources looking for her. Ileana, just open the portal. You are like an Avenger. All you do is take, take, take. You expect too much. <sighs> okay, I will open your damn portal. It is time such as this that I wish someone else here could drill holes through space and time. Perhaps Doctor Strange should spend less time tinkering with Tony Stark in the Forge and focus more on his magic. Ugh, no matter. I will be there when you are ready, Hunter. Goodbye. Привет, Hunter. I take it you found our gatekeeper. Then let me explain what's going on. When Hydra isn't preoccupied with world-ending scenarios, they spend a lot of their free time terrorizing the citizens of New York through various low-level operations. It's fairly routine stuff for heroes these days, and worst case, we'll still get some fresh intel in the process. Why don't you check the mirror table and see what we've got on our plate?
did the map, it would actually be faster for me to fly. So what is stopping you? We're sending you straight to the coordinates Captain Marvel identified in New York. Dr. Banner has confirmed that the gamma signatures in the area match those of Falcon. Captain Marvel was right on the... Ah, heroes. A single world-ending calamity is never enough to satiate your appetite for destruction. You insist on meddling further, forcing our hand yet again. Oh, that's just lovely. Faustus has a radio. I'm assuming whatever Hydra is attempting to flee with on that chopper is our target. I suggest we stop it and see for ourselves. With those powers, I would have guessed you were aligned with Lilith. when to quit you don't even know what it is you're pursuing the gamma disruptor you so narrowly escaped with in our last encounter was only the beginning show yourself to me Faustus and I will open more than your eyes such ferocious spirit you truly are your mother's child hunter Excellent. 
Now you'll need to clean up the rest of Hydra's forces. coming for me. They're still not ready to give up? Many before you have tried and failed. for the rest of us. to get on my bad side. As always. They need help. Our loyal 
soldiers aren't the simple punching bags you've come to expect, are they? Somehow these humans, these mere mortals, dare to stand against ye fearsome gods. All is possible with mother! a crazed zealot in the Hydra Cabal, obsessed with the old ways. And then we detected the convergence of the Midnight Sun. Tell me about it. Actually, please do it. One more Magical energies that once transcended our reality. Now harnessed, just as we did with the very particles that make up our being. Is that Whatever gets the job done.
Well done. Seems like that's the last of them. Last? <laughs> there are more heads to the Hydra than you will ever comprehend, heroes. This is a minor setback at most. Well, at least we don't have to listen to you any longer today. I consider that alone a victory. Well done. If Hydra wasn't paying attention before, they are now. Stay sharp. Feeling a chill, Magic? You could say that. I've been staring at the night sky trying to figure it out. Figure what out? You're observant, Hunter. You tell me. You were trying to figure out how to bring Wanda back. Close, Hunter. But no. Something much more sinister has grabbed my attention. Sinister? When I was holding the trans-dimensional door for you back there, I sensed something was at the docks with you. Something dark and familiar. What did you see, Ileana? I did not see. I said, I sensed something there. But that's not the only thing I sensed today. Oh? Something has shifted in Limbo. But I cannot quite put my finger on it. All I know is that whatever is happening is also strangely familiar to me. And when all you knew was darkness and despair growing up, that warm, fuzzy feeling of familiarity is not just a warning sign, but an alarm bell. I know what you mean. Danger is something I am a little too comfortable with myself. Reminds me of my mother. There is almost a comfort in it. Yes, you understand. Not many can. I'd like to be left to my thoughts now, Hunter. I still have a lot of thinking to do. While I try to make sense of what I felt at the docks and the energetic shifts that ripple through Limbo, I will let you know if I do.
Yo, I'm just glad we didn't get pulled over. The hell ride isn't exactly street legal. Robbie, what was most important to you before you were pulled into this life? Same thing as after. My little brother Gabe. He may be on the other side of the country, but he's what keeps me going. It must be hard to be so far away from him. Yeah, it kills me. But if we don't fix this, there won't be a world for him to live in. Could he stay at the Abbey? Nah, he doesn't know about any of this. And he needs a lot of routine in his life. The Abbey would be too much. Wish we could do this all day! Always on the hunt, right? Goddess must be busy. I don't scare that easily. I'm glad to see you're getting comfortable with the words of power, Hunter. If you're going to continue our little investigation of the Abbey, they'll be vital to your success. Investigation? A side project, but a potentially transformative one. With my blessing, Wanda was working to uncover what may be the most powerful. Just what in the hell do you think you're doing in here? Standing in the library? I've given you free reign so you could get back on your feet. But I never thought you'd pull something like this. I... What is it you think I'm doing, exactly? Don't be coy. It does not suit you. I told you how hard it's been since we lost Agatha. Instead of letting it rest, you decide to... Reopen the wound? Oh, Sarah. I would never... I never thought of this place like that. Of course you didn't. And now, it's done. Why should I ever stand in your way?
That anger wasn't meant for you, dear. You know that, right? Don't hold it against Sarah. She may try to mask her feelings, but you know she is struggling with what happened. Why are you hiding from her? For most people, the captivating relationships of their lives are formed over a matter of days and years. Sarah and I spent centuries together exploring this world, fighting the darkness, watching cities and even nations form and then crumble. And yet we persevered, together. You still have not answered my question. It may be difficult to understand, but she needs this time. Sending Wanda away, sealing the library, that elaborate memorial she conjured up. She didn't waste any time trying to bury what happened. You are right. I do not understand. It isn't up to me to reveal myself. It's up to her to accept what happened and allow herself to grieve. When that happens, we'll see each other again, but not before. I trust you will do what is right for Sarah. So, what is it you are looking at here? Yes, we should get back to the real reason I asked you to meet me here. Wanda's journal. The Abbey Grounds have a great deal of history. Many of its secrets remain hidden, even after all this time. Even to you? Even to me. Wanda had taken to exploring the grounds in search of a strange energy we both sensed. Knowing that Sarah had no intention of waking you to investigate, Wanda felt it was up to her to take your place. Of course, being the clever girl that she is, her notes are written in an ancient, transient cipher that I've only just begun to understand. Have a look at the first entry. I'm sure it still seems a bit cryptic, but Wanda was definitely on to something. If you remember my altar, that's where she was conducting her experiments. An investigation that involves experiments. Why do I feel like you were going to get me into trouble? <laughs> Since when has that ever stopped you? Let's meet out at the altar. I'll try to do a better job of explaining from there. Charlie will show you the way if you've forgotten. Noble Oshter guides my hand.
Like most things on the grounds here, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Do you remember the words I taught you as a child? Are you going to make me say it? Humor an old, dead woman. <sighs> Hocus pocus. Ah, <sighs> you haven't lost your touch, dear. The words may be simple, but these plinths won't appear for just anyone. Each represents one of the basic elements, their power activated only by the elemental rods they would normally be holding. And where are the elemental rods now? Scattered to the wind, unfortunately. A side effect of Wanda's experiments here. Let me guess. That's right. I want you to find the missing rods and return them here. Hopefully, as I decipher Wanda's journal, her notes will aid in the search. But you have not actually told me what the greater purpose is here. What are we doing this for? All in good time, dear. After what happened with Wanda, I'd rather you take things slowly. In fact, I don't want you overthinking this little project. There's no rush, and you don't have to help if you don't feel like it. But there is one more thing before I head back to the library. An arcane key? Just a little something. A token for your efforts so far. The key can be used to open that chest nearby. Like so many other oddities around here, those chests tend to appear before those who deserve them most. Make yourself that person. That seems intentionally vague. It's more fun that way, isn't it? I'll be in the library working on the translations if you need me, dear. Good luck.
Yes, dear? You said something earlier about the blood. In a world full of mysteries, the blood have managed to remain even more mysterious than most. They were an ancient race, said to be born of the Elder Gods. As I understand it, they were very strict about maintaining their bloodline. That's probably why you don't hear about them very often. And yet, here you are. One of their direct descendants. Are there others? It's quite possible. But even if there are, they might not even know it themselves. Somehow, I take comfort in that. What they do not know cannot hurt them. Indeed. After our last battle, what happened to Lilith? You were in the woods. You and your mother obviously came to blows. But we found no wounds, no evidence of what happened at all. A silent, deathly embrace between mother and child. We had hoped you would both find peace in the next life. But she is not buried here. No. We entrusted her to the Knights of Wondergore, the ancient protectors of your ancestral homeland in Transia. I don't think they ever expected to contend with an organization like Hydra, and I doubt Lilith spared any who survived her reawakening. What would Wanda want with your altar? What can I say? Some people have a curious, adventurous itch that just has to be scratched. I was one of them, and so was Wanda. Caretaker not so much, but I see it again in you, Hunter. So, you encouraged her exploration? Of course. Why wouldn't I? What good is being as powerful as we are if we're just going to spend all our time cooped up within these walls? What's the worst that could happen? Uh... <laughs> you got me there, dear. What do you know about the Moon Seals? Presumably forged by the gods themselves, I like to think of a moon seal as both a lock and a key. With the right power, wielded by the right person, the energy of the seal is unleashed, creating a conduit to the Elder Gods. And I am that right person. Just another benefit of being descended from the blood. Lucky you, dear. Where did the words of power come from? While I often call them blessings, or gifts of the old gods, the words of power are actually powerful invocations, tuned to the unique energies found in descendants of the blood. And Caretaker used the words as well. Of course, dear. Sarah used the words of power on the Abbey Grounds just as you do today. Many of the areas you encounter that seem receptive to these spells are actually the result of Sarah's frequent undertakings. Can that really be you? After all these years, it is good to see your face again. Wish I could say the same, Mother. Now enough with this deception and reveal your true form. But this is my true form. The way I was when you were just a sweet, helpless little baby. 
You don't remember that, do you? Well, I do. Bringing you into the world was the happiest time in my life. And taking you out of this world again will be mine. I had thought the words of power would open your eyes. But I should have known my sister and her pet witch would continue to withhold the truth from you. And what truth is that? The truth they are keeping from you. You need only. Wait! Mother! Where did you... Was that really her? Thanks for watching Racing Movies with me, Hunter. Hunter, I have a feeling we're gonna go on lots of adventures together.